72.38 divided by 1.1. It is best to divide by a whole number. So why not multiply the 1.1 by 10, which makes this 11, but you also then have to multiply this number by 10. So the best sum to do would be 723.8 divided by 11. Here's 11 times table, starts at 11, lands on 110. 11 goes into 72, six times. Six 11s are 66. Subtract to get the remainder, six, carry down the three. 11 goes into 63, five times. Five 11s are 55. Subtract to find the remainder, carry down the eight. 11 goes into 88, eight times. Decimal point here above this decimal point, the answer is 65.8. 11.7 divided by 1.5. Best to divide by a whole number. So why not make the 1.5 into 15 by multiplying by 10? But then we also have to multiply this number by 10. So the best sum to do would be 117 divided by 15. Here's the 15 times table, starts at 15, lands on 150. 15 goes into 117, seven times. Seven 15s are 105, subtract to find the remainder, remainder 12. Put a decimal point, carry down a zero. 15 goes into 120, Eight times. 7.8. 11.7 divided by 1.5 is 7.8. 1.206 divided by 0 0.18. It is best to divide by a whole number. So why not multiply the 0 0.18 by 100 to make it into 18? But then we have to multiply this number by 100 as well. So the best sum to do is 120.6 divided by 18. Here's the 18 times table, starts at 18, lands on 180. 18 goes into 120, six times. Six 18s are 108. Subtract to find the remainder, 12. Decimal point. Bring down the six. 18 into 126, seven times, 6.7. 13.87 divided by 1.9. Best to make the 1.9 into 19 by multiplying by 10, and the 13.87 becomes 138.7. Divide by 19, here's the 19 times table, starts at 19, lands on 190. 19 goes into 138, seven times. Seven 19s are 133, subtract to find the remainder, five. Decimal point, carry down the seven. 19 into 57 goes three, 7.3. 13.87 is nearly 14, 1.9 is nearly two, 14 divided by 2 is 7, and our proxy answer is 7, 7.3 is exact.